Next question, please. Thank you, Dr. Chela. Um, next question, um, <clears throat> uh, prostrate to Dr. Chela. Uh, would you please share a technique to train our mind? Thank you, Dr. Chela. <clears throat> okay. Um, okay. So uh, <laughs> it's it's a it's a pretty vague, it's a pretty uh, open question. Um, like. The, the, the um, training our mind, there's, the, there are different sets of training the mind, just like training your body, right? So if you ask, like, what is the best workout for me? What is the best exercise for me? It's quite difficult to answer without looking at your, uh, you know, your, your, your body shape. Are you trying to lose weight? Are you trying to gain weight, gain muscle? Um, are you trying to uh, become more fit or more muscular whatever so depending on your uh, need bodily needs so uh, a physical training is recommended similarly a mental training is depending on your need uh, anyway but uh, let's say let's assume I, I, I since the question is a little bit uh, quite ambiguous I'm not I don't, I don't know exactly what uh, the question is so let's say, let's assume that training of mind is something to, we're talking about uh, being able to uh, tame our mind, calm our mind, or control our mind, in a, so to speak. The, the, the best uh, or the, the, uh, uh, the most convenient sort of uh, method, of course, is to uh, the train our mind uh, to, I mean, to, to, to train in meditation. So meditation, I would say, uh, meditation a concentrative meditation, contempl contemplative meditation, which is to uh, stay focused on a particular object for a certain amount of time, and then try to uh, lengthen it, try to extend it, uh, start from like uh, 20 seconds, then go towards two minutes and four minutes like that. So that would be my suggestion, because once you are able to, uh, some once you once you become familiar in the uh, art of in the um, <clears throat> once you become familiar in the method of uh, consolidating your mind, consolidating different uh, distorted and uh, fragmented aspects of your mind into one aspect, one central sort of, uh, one amalgamation, one big uh, sort of when you are able to consolidate all the broken pieces of your mind into one, then of course you will uh, you'll be able to uh, use that as a strong force. You know, it's like uh, think of the mind as water, <clears throat> as, 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 as ordinary water, and uh, concentrative power or meditative power or contemplation, as think of that as a jet stream of water. You know, when you have the uh, when you put water to the, uh, the water pipe and then there is a jet stream, right? The things that we use to wash our cars, when the, when, when the water is jet stream to the pipe, it can actually wash away dirt and stains and everything. It's very powerful. But when it, the water is left alone, it's just smooth and subtle and it doesn't, have, it doesn't, it doesn't harm anything. But when it's jet stream through uh, a powerful motor, then it can actually penetrate to metal even. So similarly, uh, meditation is the uh, method, or <clears throat> the technique of uh, consolidating all the, uh, meditation is like the motor which actually powers the jet stream. So the jet stream is the, the uh, uh, once you are able to consolidate all of your mental power, uh, then you can pinpoint, you can point that towards any subject that you would like. Think of that also in the sense of a magnifying glass. When you put a magnifying glass uh, below uh, direct sunlight, and then you can you, you can actually uh, um, control the size of the uh, you know the, the 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 what do you call that thing the the focus of the magnifying glass. And when it's very powerful, it, it actually it can burn a lot of it can burn uh, it, it it has the ability to burn things. But when it's not so powerful, when it's not when it when it is not consolidated, it cannot burn anything. But when it, when it is consolidated, when it is all concentrated, it can burn through uh, uh, it can burn through woods, it can burn through grass, and all sort of things. So <clears throat> meditation is 
the practice or the technique of consolidating all of your mental uh, factors together. And uh, by training in that, I, I would suggest start with that first uh, to train your mind. As I said, there are many different ways of training your mind. It depends on your weakness, just like your body uh, bodily needs. Uh, you want to gain weight, lose weight, whatever you want. Similarly, uh, you want sometimes you want some qualities. You 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 want to gain some qualities. Sometimes you want to dispose of some uh, qualities of the mind, uh, like any negativity. You have uh, regret, uh, you have uh, grief, and so on and so forth. You have sadness, which you want to dispose of. Then you want uh, happiness, mm, gratefulness, and so on and so forth that you want to uh, you want to draw them. So depending on uh, different qualities that you want to draw, different qualities that you want to build, there are different methods of training the mind uh, in the sutras. So that is the thing. And uh, normally, if you are talking about uh, normally, there is a thing called a mind training, mind training, lojong, uh, lojong is a very popular practice uh, that is um, quite prevalent in Tibetan Buddhism. Uh, so the, that mind training is usually uh, dealing with uh, mental, uh, uh, the, this so-called mind training is all about uh, dealing with uh, um, daily challenges, dealing with our mental weaknesses or challenges that we come up in our day-to-day -day life. <clears throat> uh, through uh, so there's a set of uh, technique uh, written in the Lojong books which tells you which tells us how to deal with this and that uh, challenges that comes up with our day-to-day -day life um, so if you're interested in the Lojong the, so the, the, the Lojong practices there's a uh, there's a there's a there's a very popular uh, very effective book called uh, it's, it's not even a book it's like a booklet only eight verses it, the, uh, it's called uh, mind training in eight verses so there's only eight verses there it's very powerful very effective uh, to deal with your day-to-day uh, -day life uh, to day-to-day -to -day challenges and so on and so forth and of course <clears throat> when we are able to day when, when we are able to deal with our day-to-day -day challenges then we when when our day-to-day hindrances when our day-to-day -day, uh, disturbances are quilled are um, taken care of then we can think of something further for the next life uh, for other sentient beings for you know so it's a very effective practice um, so it's called mind training in eight verses uh, so you, you can look it up it's a it's just yeah it's a small booklet okay so this seems to be the no more That's questions. Always. That's correct, Rumi. That's all for today. No more.